Yes, I understand that, okay? But what are you telling me here, okay? Kyle Knight's not gonna be here? Doctor, what am I paying you for then? Listen, okay, I know he pulled a hamstring doing a drop saw or whatever the hell kind of movie does, okay? But listen, okay, this is legacy. Oh, you know, fine, fine, you know what? Oh, damn, what? No, talk, talk, whoa, what is this? Why is Kyle Knight not here? Why? Why is Kyle Knight not here? Because he pulled his hamstring last week, okay? What do you want me to do about it, okay? But you know what? I went to Moody Star, and I got a change tonight. Instead of a tag team match, it's a singles match. You versus Shatter. Shatter? Yes, well, Shatter. Uh, do you have a problem with that? Not really a problem, I mean. Paul, shut up, okay? Right. You're on Legacy because of me. You're here because of me. Don't be ungrateful, okay? Tonight is your shiny moment. Like you can that. go out there on the biggest stage of the ball and you can beat Shatter. And you can prove to the world that Paul Clement, PC Fresh, is dead. Yeah. And the Emerald Embassy, Paul Clement, will rise. Now, I like that. did you get that surprise that I talked about last Dude, week? Dude, it's in the bag. Good. Okay. Now listen, okay? You go and get off your match. Be prepared. Be prepared for anything. Shatter's a wily drunk. I'm sure I'll have Troy out there with him. Just don't worry. This is your moment, okay? Now go. I got it, Pete. Suppose you want my comments about the Lumberyard match. Tonight is my moment. Legacy 2007, the sixth annual. Tonight, the unequaled one, Todd Sopel, makes history. Tonight, I become the WAW champion for the second time. I go in there, and it doesn't matter if it's Flax. It doesn't matter if it's Katie Doobie. It doesn't matter if it's Staples. It doesn't matter if it's Sage Sorello. And it certainly doesn't matter if it's the unbreakable one, Skylar Phoenix. The fact of the matter is tonight, I put my name up there. I etched my name in stone with the greats. Sin, Grave Digger, Dirty Dealer, Sick. They all will pair in comparison to the unequaled one, Todd Sopel. You know, tonight, Skylar Phoenix, you breach your gospel about being unbreakable. You know what? Tonight is my night to prove that you're not unbreakable. Tonight, Skylar Phoenix, you will be broken. Stretch open and again, we're back here again. WHW, it's time for legacy, baby. Woohoo! I'm excited, are you excited? I'm pretty excited. I'm drunk, you drunk? You know, you know me, man. You should know me better than anybody. I don't see beer in your hands, that's why I'm asking, that's why I'm asking. Well, the reason why there's not beer in my hands is I was already at Mike's Pub and Grub earlier. Oh, very nice. But enough. anyway, right, right now, it's unfortunate that you're not going to be with the, there with me except by ringside, man. What are you talking about? You, you did hear, right? I didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear? It's, didn't hear it's just me versus PC because Kyle pulled a hammy. You pulled a who? He pulled a hammy. He pulled a hammy. A hammy. You're going to have to explain that to me. Because down south, we don't say nothing about pulling hammies. We got to pull the hammies. Uh, what I'm trying to say uh, is if he's at home, it's just, it's just, his it's, string. It's, it's just me. Versus PC. So for sitting out on this one and, and uh, you're hey, trying to tell me I can't get nobody's ass tonight. You can't, man. But I'll make it up to you, man. Nobody, man. I'll have a fried chicken wing for you, man. I'm telling you, if you just be there for. So wait a minute. I can drink all I want right now. We, I don't have to worry about beating nobody up. Right? You know what? You know what? Just be by my side, man. And you know what? We'll, I'll reward you later with fried chicken. And you know you love that fried chicken and beer. All right, all tons right. and tons of all right, all right. And as for you, PC, as for you, we had some history. My first match in WAW was with you. I lost. You know what? The way I look at it, I'm a little embarrassed by it now, but then I started to become the fan favorite, and what that turning point was, was beating you. So tonight, I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to show that you're the worst member of Emerald Embassy ever. Ever. Even worse than PC. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall with a time limit of 30 minutes. Entry first and being accompanied by Todd Sobel. Paul, come in! Legacy rolls on, ladies and gentlemen, and what was originally scheduled to be a tag team contest is now, due to injury to Kyle Knight, 
been changed to a singles match between Paul Clement, who is making his way to the ring, with Todd Sopel, who will be his manager here tonight at Legacy. Prior to his competition in the Lumberyard match, Todd Sopel accompanying Paul Clement here to the ring at Legacy 2007 for his match with Shatzo Bannigan, who will still be accompanied by his tag team partner, Troy Garbo. You're gonna feel for Troy Garbo due to Kyle Knight's injury for whatever fancy move he did. Troy Garbo does not get to compete in his first legacy. Instead, he is gonna be in a managerial role. You gotta believe that Paul Clement and Shatzo Bannigan will both be fighting hard here tonight to score a respective victory for his team. Regardless of the fact that it's not the original tag team match, Paul Clement is hungry and has a new focus with Todd Sopel as his manager. Let's take it down to Peter Labrie for the introduction of Shatzo Bannigan. Now making his way into the ring. And being accompanied by Troy Bravo. It is Shatzo Bannigan. And the crowd absolutely lights up as the music Shatter all your problems, hits, and here he comes with Troy Garbo by his side. It's Shatzo Bannigan. Oh, look at that, Troy Garbo still having a good old time. Square dancing in the crowd with some of the fans here in attendance. And look at Shatter, he's rocking it Sanjaya style. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm gonna go with the good thing, why not? What the hell, it's a good thing. Shatzo Bannigan here, ready to rock out and party out here at Legacy 2007. As he said in 2005, he must just be here for the booze and the bitches, but maybe tonight he's here for a victory. Red Gun getting square danced around, do see do right into the ropes. Shatzo Bannigan having a pre-match sip. And it is going to be one on one here tonight at Legacy. Paul Clement and Shatzo Bannigan as the action continues here tonight at the biggest event of our year, the sixth annual Legacy. You took that boy from no trust. Get that right now, Henry, please. Get him out. Do your job. Troy Garbo gearing up Shatzo Bannigan and now getting out of the ring. Garbo and Sopel to assume managerial roles here. Referee calls for the bell. Shatzo Bannigan trying to mimic Paul Clement and he fell out of the corner. Paul Clement up in the corner again. Shatter says he can do it. He's gonna do it this time. He's got his enemy falls again. Shatzo Bannigan trying his best. He's never really been able to nail that one. He's usually too drunk for it. Lock up in the center of the ring, here we go. Bannigan and Clement, our second match out of six here tonight at Legacy 2007. Side headlock by O'Bannigan. Backed into the ropes, sent off the opposite side and shoulder block takedown, takes Paul Clement down. Shatter jumping over the back of Paul Clement, going for the hip toss and it's Paul Clement who gets hip tossed over. He tried for it, Shatter blocked it. Now Paul Clement cowering in the corner, but it's not happening there. Short arm clothesline by Chateau Bannigan, and drunken elbow drop. Dropping it, drunk. Paul Clement to the outside of the ring. What is it, what's this? Sopo going over to the ring announcer. What the hell's going on? Huh? Bianca Wild, the newest member of, and here she comes. I guess the ankle's healed, here she comes. It's uh, Bianca Wild. Talking her usual trash to the fans here in attendance. Yeah, she's never gonna be liked. That's all there is about it. She keeps aligning herself with uh, 
a-holes for that matter, but it uh, looks like Troy Garbo might be a little impressed by Bianca Wild. Oh, what a move there by Paul Clement as this match resumes. For those of you new to WAW, Bianca Wild used to be the love interest of Chateau Banigan. What the hell is going on at ringside? Troy Garbo trying to get himself some. Oh man, what a fall there by Chateau Banigan, landing right on his skull. Taking that DDT hard from Paul Clement. Paul Clement now has Shatter Lock. As I was saying, Bianca Wild was the previous love interest of Chateau Banigan. He actually brought her into WAW in the first place after she approached him in a backstage area to say that she had been watching him. Then she turned her back on him. Oh, what I needed the face there by Paul Clement. She turned her back on him for Captain Vincent Zarello and she would later join Full Metal Jacket and then later she would become a part of the Eagles of Justice before Sin, a Tam fought her with freaking flax and a crash landing so, me, broke Blaine, the girl's ankle and we never saw her again until tonight where she comes out in about a two inch mini skirt and a bright green top. Now wait a second, she's up on the apron, wasting no time getting back in the mix. We've seen her on WAW television in recent weeks. She's trying to shimmy the goods for the, the referee and he is distracted. I don't think he's distracted with the goods, I think he's just trying to get her off the apron, but Troy Garbo is definitely distracted by Bianca Wild. Careful there, we don't need any wardrobe malfunctions here at the biggest event of the year. That's all we need. And it looks like she's on the verge of having one. Taking some of Garbo's booze. No, she's taking off with the booze. She's taking off with Garbo's booze. And O'Banigan pulls to the outside. Garbo out to the apron. Uh, excuse me, to the aisle way. Sopo hammered away at O'Banigan. Here comes Skylar Phoenix giving chase to his fellow Lumberyard participant. Later on tonight, Sopo running around through the outside, being chased by the unbreakable Skylar Phoenix. Phoenix now giving chase to Sopo, chasing him back to the locker room. Those two will be involved in the main event later on here tonight. Oh, and a low blow by Bianca Wild on Chateau Vatican. Roll up, two, oh and three. Bianca Wild returns to WAW and proves to be very instrumental in Paul Clement getting a legacy victory. Paul Clement, the same guy who made it into the top eight of the Lord of the Ring match, also gets himself a win at Legacy. And what the hell was that? I think that must have just been, hey, um, Paul Clement is the latest Legacy. guy to be tagging me, not you anymore. Paul Clement saying Legacy 07 yields him a victory fair and square, but I'm sure DWI begs to differ. Our 30 minute Iron Man match is up next, but first we are going to hear comments from Christian Saint.